This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, or that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. So listen, um, I just left um, federal court. I filed a motion with the court. Because if you guys have been following me, you know that the, the Court of Appeals remanded the case back down to the federal district court. So I filed the motion. And what I'm asking the courts to do, first of all, the Court of Appeals demanded that, or ordered rather, that they hold a hearing to determine if SEC was properly served. I, I don't even understand how that's an issue. Because... SEC didn't claim they weren't properly served. This was another party to the lawsuit who had no jurisdiction to complain about the SEC's service. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. These guys have an undue influence over our court system. That's really the bottom line. Because if you're a party to a lawsuit and you're not complaining about service, Another party to the lawsuit can't complain about your service of the summons and complaint. They can't, they don't have the authority, the jurisdiction. They don't have the standing, the standing to argue that you weren't properly served. Only the person who's not properly served has standing to argue that they weren't properly served. But somehow these bad actors have the courts allowing them to have standing to complain about the service of the SEC when the SEC themselves did not complain about the service. But it is what it is. So hopefully the courts will hold a hearing to see if SEC is going to complain about service. And then after that, we have to put together what is called a joint scheduling order. And what the joint scheduling order does, it gives a timeline for for discovery and they have been fighting about putting that together because they don't want a discovery schedule and even though doing that violates every canon of federal law even state law because you you have to participate in discovery but somehow the federal courts are just laying back and allowing these guys to violate the statutes the bottom line is this the courts need to order them to participate and prepare the joint scheduling order. The court needs to hold a hearing on the preliminary injunction in, in order to have an accurate share count of AMC and GME and shut down the dog pools until that's done. The court needs to hold a hearing on that. And once they hold a hearing, if the courts deny the motion, then I'm going to appeal that again to the appellate court the 11th circuit court of appeals the bottom line is this if we can get this to the discovery phase if the courts follow their own rules we might get the opportunity to depose gary gensler ken griffin and a lot of the bad actors to explain what they've been doing with the amc share count for the last 36 months anyway I filed up the motion. We got to wait for the... They're going to answer, of course. The defendants have to answer. And then we'll see what the court does. We'll see what the court does. But as soon as I get an update from the court, as soon as these guys do a reply, I will do an updated video on the lawsuit to keep you guys in the loop. Okay? Have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.